everybody. Four hours of sleep. Go ham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Fobs and Bills, baby. Hashtag Fobs and Bills. Today, we got 73 mods on the testing list. We got a new Volvo dedication video. And we got eight modders to talk about, including an update for Brewster Mods on his gravity wagon. Let's check it out. Starting off with the mods and testing. In total, we have 73 mods on the list. 38 are in stage one and 35 are in stage two. Some notable mods of PC testing includes the Case IH 890 Loader, Challenger MT 800 Series, and the Deutz Bar D 16006. There's also a ton of John Deere stuff in testing, like the 1775 NT 5M Series, S600 and 700, STS 70 Series, and the XUV 865R, just to name a few. We've also got the new Holland T6 Tier 4B, Pallet Auto Load Specialization, Pole Trailer, Typhoon 4T, and the TLX. 2022 series. Maps and PC testing include Eastern North Carolina, Ohio Richlands, and the Another World map. Notable mods in console testing today include the Auto Load Trailer, Case Puma CVX, Challenger MT800E 2013, and the Fent Lotus 1250T. We've also got Hay Wagon with seats, Hole Run, ooh, can't wait to see that, the John Deere 4755 and S700 series, different from the other ones that we talked about, Pallet and Bell Warehouse, Schwarzmuller Dumper, and the Traffic Safety Trailer. With all that being said, we still have 89 mods city waiting to be tested, with a current average waiting time for newly submitted mods, three work days. Giants have released a new Volvo dedication video, A Journey Through Time, showing off the history of all the machines that we received with the Platinum expansion that bear the Volvo name. It's almost a little show kind of thing. <laughs> it's kind of cool. It's like a four minute movie. You should definitely check that out after this video. AD2 Studio announces a new attachment for semi trucks, the Homer GB 25 X3 Crusher. This is based off of the one that we already have in the game. However, the new Crusher version will take logs and turn them into wood chips instantly, or you can cut sugar beets with this as well. He showed it off in action during his live stream last night, which is linked in the description for you guys to check out. Vector Man's Joyce Far D16006 is currently on the testing list, and this is an update to fix a few things and add a few things. It's going to add Kubota DLC passenger support for the seating, it adds a ton of new tire options, and reduces the engine braking effect. The mod, like I said, is currently with Giants, and it's in first stage of testing right now. If you were wondering what the big sequoia trees would look like on Gamer Design's pole trailer, then guess no more. Here you guys go. As far as I can tell, the trailer is stretched to its absolute limits in the screenshots, uh, with more still hanging off the back. There's like twice as much hanging off. How far do you think these can go across Silver Run without tipping, or how far do you think I could get these across Silver Run without tipping? Rooster Mods updates us on the progress of his Parker 4000 Gravity Wagon for all platforms. Today, the mod is coming along with all of the modeling and decals done, as well as being completely functional in game. The only thing left to do is model some new tires, add collisions, and further develop the wear and dirt maps. Of course, there's all the, the XML stuff, but that's super tedious. Uh, it's going to have a capacity between 13,215 and 15,515 liters, and it'll have different door options. So you guys can do the double dump. Vertex Design has announced a new mod today from Emmett's BV, the 38 FSX. It's got a subsoiler on the front and a spader on the back, which is only slightly confusing since they both do literally the same thing in farm sim. There may be some uh, translation errors there as well. I guess we'll find out. Regardless, you guys are going to need 350 horsepower to power this bad boy. And it's got a six meter working with, which is actually pretty darn good. FSG Modding's Green Mountain map is moving forward and it's going to have a really cool new feature, a barge. It can be rented to haul around your crops in addition to the two, that's right, two train systems on the map. This feature is still a work in progress and it could change up sometime before the final version. They also say that there is a chance that in general, the map could be for PC only, but they are doing literally everything that they can to make it for all platforms. Today, we've got some more progress picks from Oxygen David on Court Farm, showing off some of the new animals as well as some of the farmyards. We got ducks, chickens, cows, they're all here, even little baby cows. I mentioned multiple times uh, to this effect, but this is probably going to be the most detailed and lifelike map that we have ever seen in Farming Simulator once it's out. If you guys ever see any news or information about this, 
definitely pay attention because this is going to be a good one. And lastly, today, FDR logging say that their next big mod update will be coming sometime in January next year, 2023, as they've got a load of work to do fixing and developing some new features. The updates will feature a new map as well, plus detachable processor heads and a variety of fixes and changes across the board to all the mods. We should start to see some teaser picks soon, so stay tuned for those. And stay tuned to farmsimnews.com for everything else you guys need to know about, just like every episode of Farm Sim News. That was not the smooth translation. <laughs> Links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description. You check out this whole video in the form of a news article at farmsimnews.com. There's two in a row. Dang. There's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod is going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something you want to know about, it just simply means that there's no new information on that topic when I'm recording this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything you need to know about going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the GoHam fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. With that, hope you have a good one. I'll see you later. Peace. You know, it's funny. I go to bed at like 6 or 7 p.m. And then I wake up at 11 and stay up basically the rest of the night and can't sleep. Ah!